car in Montgomery County, where the car went through a fence. And it was death for a Pawnee police officer. Also, an Indianapolis Springfield Decatur. And now, Dave Heller, Joe Drummond, Scott Musgrave with sports, and Tony Libri with the weather. <coughs> One police officer is dead and several others injured following a high-speed chase with police south of Springfield. The chase began in Pawnee, raced onto Interstate 55, and ended about six miles later with a crash on a frontage road. And then, disastrously, as four police officers arrested two people, a drunken driver slammed into them all. The high-speed chase ended here on a frontage road just off of Interstate 55, a few miles south of Divernon. Four squad cars, two from Pawnee and two from Divernon, were pursuing 19-year-old Jason Wilkerson and a 16-year-old female passenger. Police say Wilkerson started ramming the police vehicles on the interstate, lost control of his car, went off the highway through this fence, and seemed to rest on a frontage road. Police say then the four officers parked on the side of the interstate, ran to Wilkerson's car, and handcuffed him. When they... Uh... Got, police officers got out of the vehicle to uh, apprehend the subject. A truck, which was on the frontage road, uh, struck the police officers, all four police officers, and the two subjects in the car. The accident killed Pawnee police officer Earl David Price. Three other people were injured seriously. Price was 41 years old. He had a wife and two children. Pawnee police chief Billy Miller said he was shocked. You know, you read about it, but you don't think it will happen, you know, right in your area. Uh, and it's something very senseless. This is Wilkerson's car. It was hit from behind by this grain truck, driven by 27-year-old Reedy Jones of Divernon. He has been charged with possession of marijuana and felony DUI, which police say means Jones has been convicted of DUI more than once before. He was not injured in the accident. Police say further charges may be filed against Jones. Also injured in the accident were Divernon Police Officer Greg Clemens. He's hospitalized in fair condition tonight. Two charges filed against him in the death of a Pawnee police officer. TV 20's Craig Kennedy joins us live now from the newsroom with details. Craig. Down to Susan, 27-year-old Remy Jones was charged in Montgomery County Court with felony DUI and possession of marijuana. Montgomery County State's Attorney, Attorney Catherine DeBrennick says that additional charges have not been filed yet because the state has not received uh, the reports in in the death of Pawnee Police Officer Earl Price. Jones on the left there. was arraigned this afternoon on both nothing. charges. Mm -hmm. Charges are both Class 4 felonies and carry a one to four year prison term. Jones allegedly ran down five people, including four police officers, on a frontage road just south of Divernon Sunday morning. Pawnee Officer Robert Rhodes is listed in serious condition tonight. Divernon Officer Greg Clemens is in fair condition, and Divernon Officer George Boggs was treated and released. Jason Wilkerson, who the police were chasing, is still listed in serious condition. All the injured were taken to Memorial Medical Center. Pawnee only has four police officers, and the loss of Price and Rhodes puts the department in a difficult position. Police Chief Bill Miller says help is already on the way. That's right. Uh, I'll be kind of shorthanded. Uh, Sheriff DeMarco uh, called me this morning and uh, he offered any assistance that he could. It's one of their own today. Pawnee policeman Earl David Price died early Sunday morning. The 41-year-old officer was hit by a truck during a traffic stop. WANE's Jerry Goodman and photojournalist Dave Olson attended this morning's service. Officers from several city, county, and state police departments paid their last respects at the morning service. Nearly 50 police cars led the procession.
Most of us today huddled around a Thanksgiving table brimming with food, family, and love, and folks all over Central Illinois tried to make sure no one was left out and shared their bounty. Thanksgiving dinners for the needy were offered at several area churches as well as St. John's Breadline today in Springfield. This Thanksgiving. Covering from the loss of two of its police officers, a traffic accident claimed the life of one and severely injured the other. Dave, a month after that accident, the injured officer, Robert Rhodes, is still hospitalized. For his wife and five children, this might have been an unhappy holiday, except Pawnee is a town that cares. Dick Schultz cares. A paraplegic, unable to get up out of bed, he is the emergency dispatcher for the Pawnee Police and Fire Department. He knows Officer Robert Rhodes very well. Bob Rhodes is uh, a real nice guy. He became my friend almost immediately. He's been in Pawnee about possibly five years. Bob has a quality that uh, people like me appreciate. He has what they call empathy, the ability to know how someone like he feels. The first thing that Bobby did for me that was great was to uh, install a duct, install duct work to rest there and a fan to bring in outside air because there's no way I can open or close my own windows. He put my uh, uh, bedside stands on wheels so I could easily move them out. Officer Rhodes is the father of five. Earlier this month, he was one of Amen. four officers making a traffic stop on this frontage road near Pawnee. It was late at night. A grain truck plowed into the group, killing Officer Robert Price. Rhodes was rushed to the hospital with severe injuries. The driver of the grain truck, Remy Jones of Divernon, has been charged with possession of marijuana. Meanwhile, Robert Rhodes is making Restart. slow, painful progress toward walking again. Dick Schultz, who understands what it's like to be laid up, has started a fund to help pay some of Rhodes' bills. I didn't want him lying up at the hospital thinking about all his bills. And the town of Pawnee has and responded. Fired, yeah. High schoolers have held bake sales, and children have gone door to door to get contributions. Officer Rhodes' mother says she can't believe the kindness of strangers. It was such a shock to us and to family and friends, and it just seems like that Everyone has, that didn't even know Bob has went out of their way to make us comfortable, his family comfortable, and the prayers, every church around has had a chain of prayers. It has just been wonderful. And if you can help out the family of Officer Robert Rhodes, donations can be made to the Robert Rhodes Trust Fund at the Pawnee Bank. The news is really filled with lots of goodwill That's tonight. That's right. Very much so. Oh, yes.